breathes expression and tears to your lifeless face. Drink the elixir and feel it waking in your cells. Now breathe in sweetly and cast those demons to hell. I cried today and I met myself. I died today. And I love myself, and I was beautiful, I was truly beautiful. A stranger looking in my eyes reminds me I can see, a healer touched my heart and now I am without disease. What is disease anyway? It's nothing that I can't decide to simply throw away. I cried today, and I love myself. I died today, and I met myself, and I was beautiful. I was truly beautiful. And from the ashes, feel my wings. That bird inside me, she will sing. She will sing. I cried today, and I let myself. I died today, and I met myself, and I was beautiful. session in front of a classroom, that's what came out of that. Let's give her a hand one more time. So my story begins and continues, and the story is this. Does anyone have um, a, a voice that they hear within themselves? Okay, well, just raise your hand if you got a voice that you hear inside of you, right? Now, we're not talking about spirits or, or anything, but we're talking about the spirit, higher power, universe, God, whatever you want to call it. And I've always been connected to that in my life. And it was funny because as a kid, that was one of the awkwardnesses that I got picked on for. I mean, I'd say things like, well, I, what I'm hearing, and I'd be like, what are you hearing? And in high school, that doesn't go over very well. Right? <laughs> So the point of it is, is that this is what happened. So I was living in Seattle, Washington, and there was this time that I was like going to school. I was thinking I wanted to be a psychology major, so I was going to Seattle U to be a psychology major, and I was struggling through school. I was waiting tables at an Italian restaurant five days a week, slinging pasta from five to ten with a crazy Italian man named Gino. And his mother and his brother, and there was their, they would fight in the middle of the restaurant all the time. It was just like, this is not what I was born to do. I know it. I mean, it's entertaining to go to work every night, and you're not sure which Gino's going to show up. However, it wasn't what I was supposed to do. And so I remember I was getting ready to go to work one day, and I went to the shower to, you know, to do my thing and to go to work. And I come home from school and I get in the shower and I'm staying in the shower. Now, not you, but for me, I hear Spirit's voice when I'm in the shower. I don't know why. It's kind of weird that we have this relationship in the shower, but we do. <laughs> and so I'm in the shower and I'm saying to my higher power, literally out loud, as the water is pouring down me and I'm butt naked, I say, What? want me to do with my life. I am not supposed to just be waiting tables. 
I am done with school, I'm this close. What do you want me to do? And I was begging, I was pleading, I was bargaining, I was just like ready to like rip the shower head out of the wall. And I said, listen, this is my bar my bargaining. This is my moment. I said, I know that I have power in my speaking, and I know that I am born for debt greatness and for I have a destiny for something beyond waiting tables. Please, please send someone to produce me. Send me someone to produce me. And I heard the loudest voice I have ever heard to this date. And this voice said, produce yourself. <laughs> produce yourself. And I remember going, what the hell is that? <laughs> like, it was like booming around me, like, produce yourself with like this cackle. It was kind of almost like this evil cackle. And I thought, produce myself. What an amazing thought. So how do you do that? How do you produce yourself? And I, and I heard this idea, and I, and I heard the universe say, say yes to your life right now. Say yes. 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 Okay, that's not what I meant, but great, I love it. <laughs> I'll take it. You guys are in it, that's good. Yes, I say yes back to you, okay. So I heard the universe say, produce yourself and say yes to your life. And I'm like, okay, I'll say yes to my life. But what does that mean? What am I saying yes to? Has anyone ever seen the Yes Man in the movie? Well, there's some things I wouldn't say yes to, right, in that movie. There's a couple moments I was like, no, okay. It was before the movie, though, thank God. I probably wouldn't have said yes. So I said yes to the universe. And 